Hi everyone, now I want to talk to you about the Amazon Applied or Machine Learning Scientist interview. This is quite important. I've been Applied Scientist at Amazon. I know this procedure very, very well. So in this video, which is a part one, I would like to talk about the uh, general structure of this interview. And then in the next video, I will tell you in detail what each part represents. Precisely in the next video, I'm going to talk about the on-site round and I will tell you or explain every single uh, section in detail. But now let's get into this video. When you want to get hired at Amazon, the first round, like many other places, is a recruiter call or recruiter um, in, a, in a sense recruiter round. This is usually terminate and it's mainly the first round, always the first round. At Amazon, the interview is done through the Chime. Chime is similar to the Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or the Skype. And during a recruiter call, what you expect here is that the recruiter is going to ask you this um, question. Hey, what's your research? What, when can you start? When are you going to finish your PhD or your um, master study or undergraduate, whatever degree you have? And let's say you're working on another company. Um, when would you expect to give your two weeks notice? When are you free to move? Um, do you need any sponsorship? Are you a citizen? What sort of salary you need to in order to move to Amazon? Talk about the base, talk, talk about the total compensation, and then, hey, are we RTO, return to office? Are we remote? Are you okay to relocate to the office location? And then you, have, you ask any question you have. So this is actually a very important round. But it's not technical. It asks you, it asks you about your research, about your expertise. You walk the recruiter over your um, expertise, your resume. But the recruiter takes a note and asks the question I mentioned. And pass it to the hiring manager. All right. Usually, when you get a recruiter call, you go to the next round as well. This is terminal. Now we go to the technical round. Technical round consists of first a phone call, which is a, through the chime, is a video call. You are expected to turn on your camera. And this round is one hour. This is one hour and consists of two sections. Well, you can say three sections in the first year, introducing yourself or ask any question. What the two main sections? It's gonna be, this is for applied scientists, remember. It's gonna consist of two sections. One, machine learning. Two, lead code questions or coding. For the machine learning round, they usually do not roast you. They usually do not ask you hard questions. They want to see whether you are into machine learning field or not. They ask you some um, simple questions or general questions. They ask you questions like, hey, can you explain to me what's the concept of p-value? Can you explain to me uh, what is uh, the, the difference between correlation and causation? Can you describe to me what's the ensemble method? What's the difference in bagging and boosting? When do I decide to use random forest? When do I decide to use gradient boost? These type of questions. This is usually 30 minutes. And then there is a lead code questions, the coding question. And throughout my experience, Amazon usually asks dynamic programming, recursion, tree traversal, means depth per search and breadth per search, and two pointers, and the time complexity for that, right? The lead code question is usually medium to medium to easy uh, level lead code. Now, some variation of this round is that people sometimes ask you only ML questions. You have seen that. Sometimes people ask you only lead code questions, but it's either of these two. Okay, great, or both of them. Depending on how this round goes, you maybe have another phone call, chime call, or you might go directly to the on-site. So it depends on whether uh, interviewer is happy with your, with your performance, you have multiple options, okay? Two options, either you go to on-site round, or um, you may uh, have another chime call if everything goes well. Otherwise, people get rejected in this round as well. So if you get a, you might get an actual rejection email from the uh, recruiter after this round, if things are, did not go well. Now, if you get a, another chime call, another video call, the structure of that is very similar to the first phone call, or the, the second round, okay? So we don't really go into detail for this. But now let's see, you gotta go to the on-site round, the final round of interview for Amazon. On-site round for the applied scientist consists of five sections. Machine learning breadth, 
ماشین لرنگ دپ ماشین لرنگ اپلیکیشن با ریزر اند کودینگ سو این مای سیکند پارت اف دیس ویدیو از گونا بی هیویلی اون دی اون سایز اون اف دی انٹرویو میک شور یو چک دات ون اوت از ول بات تو گیو یو ا لیتل بریف اکسپلنیشن ابوت دات ماشین لرنگ بریت از دات دی انٹرویو از وان تو انڈرسٹاند یور جنرل نالج اف ماشین لرنگ Usually they do not ask you deep learning or neural network problems. Usually they ask you more classical machine learning, like random forest, gradient boost, linear regression, support vector machine, things like that. They want to ask, hey, what's the precision recall? How do you see which one to use and when? Machine learning depth, they usually ask the question from your resume or the area that you are expert, but they go into detail. Or they look at the job description and see the job records, for example, knowledge of recommended system. They ask you about the recommender system, right? And they go into detail. Then there is a machine learning application. So machine learning application, in my experience, is usually done by the hiring manager, and they pose a question. It's a problem-solving session. For example, let's say that, hey, I have this data set. I want to see whether they classify the uh, data set as the fraud or non-fraud, or like a valid data point. We can say it's like a binary classification, We do a feature engineering and then do a classifier and then evaluate using precision recall. And the feature engineering, we have some transformation for numeric data, we have some transformation for categorical data. And then you can go in deep detail and you exchange some ideas back and forth. Okay? And then bar raiser. All right, so this is a bar raiser is a leadership uh, principle question. Each of these rounds that I have, each of these five rounds, there is a leadership principle component to it. So here is just a brief description. My next video is coming. So usually for each round is 30 min technical, 20 min leadership, all right? But Razor is the person that only asks you leadership principle. And there is a trick to answer those questions. We call it a star technique. Situation, task, action, result. Tell me a time that you had a disagreement with your manager. What did you do for that? I remember this happened in March 2023, that situation. I was responsible to do this task, that's task. What I did was that I performed this action, I did this and this and this, and then my, we had some discussion with my manager, some back and forth, and some um, office hours we had together, this is the action and the result. Always ended with a positive result. If you follow this, you never get actually confused responding to the behavioral question. Actually, they expect you to follow that as well. All right, and then there is a coding. Coding is usually lead code, Again, remember, 20 minutes leadership principle, lead code questions, and the lead code usually is this, the same DNA program, recursion, three traversal, two pointers, and time processor, time complexity. Now, my suggestion, you don't have enough time to answer the lead code, usually, if you don't really know how to do that. If you haven't seen this problem, or you're not fast enough with the coding, do the brute force, and then talk to the interviewer. They are usually very understanding. Exchange some ideas back and forth with each other. You, for example, you can say that, My time complexity is O and S square, but I think this can be done using two pointer technique in O and in a linear time as well. All right. So this is all I have for this video. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about the onside, the final round in more detail. Leave a comment if you have any question. I do my best to answer your question. If you like this content or my content in general, please like and subscribe to the channel and share these videos with your friends. It helps me a lot to actually post more videos. Thank you.